guys, Jen here from Ain and Such and Such and Be Scented. I have a coffee soap that I am planning today for a wholesale order. And this time I went ahead and I made my coffee ahead of time and I poured it in a couple of my silicon molds and froze it. So this is just strong brewed coffee. And I have my lye. And I'm going to, now this is um, polypropylene plastic container, same as this, um, so it can withstand the lye. So that's what I'm going to do. Now as you can see, immediately it starts melting. See that? Immediately it starts melting. So, we want to do this to where it's not hot, you know, to where it stays cool. So we're going to add our lye slowly to get it all incorporated. You can do this with goat milk also. If you use fresh goat milk, you can freeze it like this. does not take long to get it going. this on camera so I figured I'd show you guys you also can make your lye water this way with ice you weigh it all the same it's still nice and cold obviously because we've still got ice in here And if you're also afraid that this will heat up too much, um, like if you're doing a goat milk or something and you're afraid it may heat up, uh, you can always um, mix it in an ice bath. You know, put your container down in some ice, ice water. You keep it nice and cold. doing wonderful nice and slow this one and then one more will have it if you add it too quickly it will uh, heat up on you it will melt all your ice very quickly and heat up because it generates too much heat at one time Okay, we still got some ice chunks in here. We're still nice and cold. Now, this last little bit. We'll pretty much melt everything and we'll still be cold. You don't scorch anything this way. As you can see. Pretty much all melted and it's still nice and cold. All right guys, I'll bring you back when we are ready for everything else. Friends, so we are back to start our coffee soap. Actually, I had to wait for my stove to cool down because I had to melt 
um, or warm up my hard oils because I had master batch them. So um, I needed to warm it up. That way I knew they all were combined. And I'm gonna have to get some more of my oatmeal. I have enough for this batch, but that's all. I have to get some more before I do my next batch. These little containers I got at the dollar store, I really like them. Alright, so stick the blender, needs to come over here. And I'm stuck to my other cord. Just a second. Okay. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. So, anyways, with this batch, I am going to portion off a part of it without the fragrance because it does discolor. So, in with our coffee lye that we just mixed up. Well, it's been about a half an hour. It's been about 30 minutes. That smells divine. And with our cream, our milks there, in other words, our milk. my container here we're gonna pour off some we're gonna lighten it um, to put on the top of the soap we'll do that with some titanium dioxide Let me grab that I need to get some more mixed up. Now this is not going to be white obviously because we're starting off with a pretty brown base. But it will be lighter than the rest of the soap. Add our fragrance in here and I'm going to add some coffee grounds from fresh coffee grounds the fragrance has no vanillin but it does discolor this is coffee that I keep solely for soaping I'll put a couple good size spoonfuls makes a very exfoliating soap
Yes, I did. Now, with this soap, I have made some little coffee beans that I'm going to put on the top when we put our topping on, but aren't those cute? We'll put those on here in a few minutes. Those are uh, melt and pour soap. So I'm going to pause you guys. We're going to kind of let this set up. I'm going to straighten up. I'm kind of going to get ready for my next batch, and then I'll bring back and we'll do the topping. Okay, so I really didn't have time to prep for my next batch. I actually um, got my oatmeal ready. So, <clears throat> I don't want to pipe this. I just want to dollop it across. Now, I see him. Now, I'm probably going to have to take my gloves off because I can't get a hold of these little bitty things. them on randomly. We got them, Mama. Uh-huh. Try not to touch the soap. And if I do, I'll wipe my hands off. This is a mold that I got um, on one of the soaping dish dash groups on Facebook. This little coffee bean. And I actually... Athena! Lord have mercy! Hey, stay up! No, I pick it up and throw it in the trash. I actually um, cut it in half, not the mold. Like once I poured those, uh, they were much. They were twice as thick, uh, the little beans. So I cut them in half, and then I remelted it and um, poured a second batch of them. A little beans. So this is melt and pour soap. Detergent free, uh, low sweat. Go 
going to go ahead and put them all on here. Because I've almost used them all already. So I might as well. And then I'll make a second batch of these little toppers for my batch of soap that I make. Because I, I need to make this soap as well. Last one. All right. There's that. I think I might do just a little bit of glitter because I think it'll look nice. All right, guys. I'll bring you back when we cut it. Jen here from and such and such and be scented. I'm going to cut the coffee soap. So here it is. Got it sitting back here. Turned out really good. So let's cut the little end piece off. Now, see, as you can see, the inside, how much the outside is already darkened. And you can see the top. How cute is that? It smells fantastic. I love it. wants to fall off. Now they're all pretty much the same other than the embeds on top will be here and there and other places. How cute. I love it. Can't wait to make a batch for me. For my store. Looks like real, genuine coffee beans on top. But it's not. Well, that one was perfect. Everybody made it through without being sliced up. Doing it kind of slow so I don't mess them up. Gives it the cutter time to cut through the melt and pour. Because these cutters are not designed to cut through uh, melt and pour. Uh, it's okay if you have small amounts like I have here. But they will not cut a full loaf of melt and pour. It's too hard of a soap. All right, we'll get our last bar here. I don't know if there's anything that's going to be cut off or not. Just a smidgen. And that's that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.